One of the minerals that we have to have in human nutrition because it's in every single organ and tissue in the body is called iodine. I know you always think that iodine's just in the thyroid, but that isn't true. It has a lot to do with keeping your body as far as estrogen, the going into the correct metabolite pathway, it has a lot to do with your immune response and a lot to do with stopping proliferation of tissue, meaning that you don't end up with a cancer. But iodine's a twin-edged sword, and even though there's somewhere between 11% and as high as 98%, depending on who you read, deficiencies in iodine, taking too much, may also be an issue as well. Iodine in about 400 micrograms a day is about what the human nutrition needs. Now, there are pills that run anywhere from 12.5 to as high as 50 milligrams. Remember, there's a thousand micrograms in every milligram, so that's a large dose. And there are people that may require that. But remember, that should be for short term. New studies are showing that people who take iodine on a regular basis in higher doses actually cause the thyroid to become sluggish. That's right. Can actually create hypothyroidism. So iodine is very important in the form of potassium iodide. It's the only transported iodide there is, is an iodide form of iodine. It is converted in the thy thyroid to iodine and then, of course, distributed to the body. And it is so, so important for human nutrition. The right amount is perfect. Stay away from bromine type things, brominated pools, non-organic wheats, because these flowers are high in bromine. Yeah, look at it, you'll see. And they severely affect the way iodine is taken up. Not sure if you need iodine or not. Well, you could paint yourself a silver dollar size of iodine on the neck or some inconspicuous place on the body after a shower. And if it doesn't stay around like a badge of honor like it used to when you were a child, when mama put it on you, then it may be problematic. Meaning if it disappears somewhere between 4 and 12 hours, you can pretty rest assured that you have a iodine deficiency. Don't like a crude test? There are challenge tests by taking iodine and do a pre and post urine challenge to see if your body's holding it or it's excreting it. Iodine, very important, but again, like anything else, a twin-edged sword, too little, disease, too much, a non-functional thyroid, and other possible problems. www.drmitchshow.com. I'm Dr. Mitch.